to how do you create a running total that restarts annually using Power Query? Let's do this. So how do we do an annual one? And let's call this uh, annual, yeah? Cumulative annual. Return. So how do you do an annual? So it's gonna be the same structure as before. We're gonna use the table select rows function. Um, it's just that the final um, argument, we're gonna use something different here. So uh, let's sort it again, it's gonna be in a sequence. So ascending in the date column. So I've now got it all sorted ascending. Yeah, so I'm now going to create my table again. So I'm gonna do add column, so a table within a table. So I'm gonna do custom column. And let's call this our forecast annual RT for running total. Let's create the table again. So I'm going to do, and I'll do it from this sorted rows here. The date becomes out from here. So I'm going to do hash, open quotation mark, and type sorted rows. Yeah. I'm just going to do a return and do table S for selected rows. So the first part of the argument is the table itself. I then want to put that into um, a variable again. So open bracket. And let's call this inner again, inner T for table, inner table. Close that bracket, equal sign, and right facing chevron. So I'm then going to refer to that inner uh, variable just created. And again, we want the dates. So where the dates are less than or equal to dates in our table. Let's close that bracket and let's just add another condition here. So I'm going to do a return, top the and function. And this time I'm going to use the date year function to pull the year from our inner table and compare it to the year of the date in our query. And so they've got to match each other. Yeah. So the way that I'm going to do that is do date year, open bracket, do inner, inner table, open square bracket and take that dates. Yeah. I'm then going to close the bracket on that date year where it equals our date year open bracket. And I want this dates uh, column from my query and then close the bracket on that. And let's just do a here. And I'm going to do an open. So at the end of this table, select rows. I'm going to do an open square bracket and let's select forecast. And just before the table select rows, do a return. And I'm going to type list sum. Go on, click that link below for the full video where I show you three different types of running totals. Let's do this.